Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by the streamingadvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. And what we're going to look at in this video is Philo. Philo is a new streaming option that's built on the idea of giving you a streaming option that doesn't include sports. And while you might say, well, why would you want a streaming option that doesn't include sports? It's because sports actually are one of the drivers that raise the prices of everything and people have been asking for services that don't have sports at least non-sports fans so Philo obliged in order to add it you're gonna go down to streaming channels we're gonna click on search channels and just type the name of the channel itself which is Philo if you're wondering why it's called Philo versus something that makes, you know, that sounds more like live TV ish, it's because it's named after Philo Farnsworth, who actually invented a technology that is basically a forerunner of modern TV. So it's kind of an homage to a historical figure. So we're going to click on here, press OK, and we've already got the channel, so we have the choice to go to the channel otherwise you would add the channel and you know proceed like other Roku channels it gives you a code and such and that's covered more in our written story so here's Philo here's the home screen and you'll notice it has a very different look than other live TV things it kind of looks like an on-demand thing it looks more like early Netflix or other kind of older Roku channels where you have your little carousel row and you just click through right to left something that I have to note I'm going to tell you I'm going to show you the look of each screen and then we're going to talk a little bit more about the the nitty-gritty of the service so tapping up on the screen is going to pull up this main menu home live saved and search you just saw the home screen it breaks down by what you've already watched or what you have been watching so it has keep watching saved shows is something that builds as you go you have to actually physically say I want to save this or that show that's in other menus trending live is going to show you what is actually currently on so as of the recording of this video right now above the law with Steven Seagal is on it came on at 12 and it tells you top shows on Philo is I guess based on what people have been watching they must keep some statistics so yes they are watching you and then the new and upcoming section is kind of self-explanatory and that's what the home screen is like when you go into the live section here you notice something no grid little different also it's obviously not playing anything which makes it easier to record this because then I don't have to worry about <laughs> what's playing in the background while I work this but it's kind of a different sort of experience you also might notice something else it's broken up you've got your, your little two by six graphic here and take a look at the channels Nick, OWN, Paramount, Science, Sundance, Teen Nick. It's in alphabetical order. In this case, it goes from A to We. It, goes, it starts with A and E up here on the left, all the way down to We. And everything is designed that way. So what that means is you're going to have to know what channel something comes on, in order to find it and that's where not having the graphic can be kind of a problem because if you don't remember that something like the 70s show here is on syndication on Comedy Central at some point or TBS or wherever it is you don't necessarily know to look for it there so you know I don't know I think that might be a little bit confusing something else in this menu that's interesting is you have a couple of choices as to what you watch okay so 
let's say you're looking at a program. Here's Terrence Howard and Richie Sambora on BB King, right? On Axis TV. I'm kind of getting off of it so you can actually see the graphic. Okay, so when you go into something, you have two choices. You can either click on it and just tap OK, and what that will do is it will kind of start like a DVR would. It starts seconds, maybe you know, a minute before a show starts, and you've got to work your way to it. Plus, this free polishing toothbrush. So there you start off with a commercial. I was hoping it might show you the end of a show. Or you can long press OK. And what this does is it pulls up a large group of everything that has been on for a couple of days. You see, like, this is this came coming on at 1. We had another show on at 11. They had another show on at 10. You can go back all the way to a couple of days ago. It's the ninth right now. So you can actually click all the way back to the 7th and start in on the James Brown show. So you can actually go in and watch on demand for a given channel by doing this. You can also go forward all the way up until a couple of days from now. So you can't watch this show right now because it hasn't come on yet. But this is where you get into the saved deal. So let's say you're going to want to see Cindy Crawford's anti-aging discovery. Right? Press OK. And you've got the option to save that upcoming episode. So you press up, you hit save, and now that's going to be under the save section. On the other hand, you can see past episodes of her show. You kind of get it? I think the system takes a bit of getting used to. I really do, because it's it's not as intuitive as others are. Now, on Access TV, there are lots of shows available through Access TV. But the thing is, actually, they're, I guess they call them movies. But the thing is, is not everything that they've got listed is necessarily available. I've looked at this in a number of different places. Most of it, most anything that says new, you're actually going to be able to launch in and take a look at it. So you have the choice to do that. But in some cases, it's going to be more like the Cindy Crawford thing. And it's going to be, you know, it might say it's not available or that you, know, you can add it to favorites or save. Let me jump into something that will do that. Let's go to BET. So, again, you want to watch Meet the Browns as of right now and start it from the beginning? You tap OK. And it will jump into the last seconds of another show and launch into Meet the Browns. Hold down OK. Again, you get the choice. You can start it where it was. You can watch what has been on all the way back to a couple of days ago. Let's say yesterday at 4 a.m. You can see what will be coming on a couple of days from now. See? So, when you go into like the top shows, though, you're going to find a lot of different stuff. Kevin Hart's Seriously Funny is not available. See, it says no showings are available, safe to keep future airings. So, we're going to click on save, and hopefully you can find it later on. Top movies, the same deal. Some of this stuff is available, some of it isn't. Let's see where The Takers is currently available. See, it is not. No showings are available. Keep for future airings. So you save that. So th the thing that I'm trying to show you here is that just because something is up on the screen doesn't mean it's available. So 
I think that that could actually be kind of confusing because what I would expect from a service is that if you go to something and it's there, that you could watch it. You know, while we can't watch this episode of Martin that's going to show up on the 11th, I mean, we're not time travelers here, you would be able to expect to watch something listed right here because there it is, it says top movies. It doesn't say movies to save, it just says top movies. And so, you know, that's getting into the weeds a little bit, but I think that that's something that you should know is, you know, I like what you see is what you get, but in this case, what you see is not what you get. It's like what you see is plausible. So you see, we jumped into saved, and the things that we've put into saved are available right here, or at least their icons are available. Click on it, and there's nothing available right now. If something, if it does become available later on, you can go back and you can take a look at it. While on the other hand, we saved Roseanne earlier, and if you click on it, it's going to pull up episodes of Roseanne. Now, Philo, like everything else, is a little strange. It doesn't, ha it, you know, you're not going to have like universal access to your local channels. In fact, in this package here based on where we are, we don't have access to any local channels. If you go to the live, there's no WRAL, which would be like our NBC affiliate, or WTVD, which would be our ABC affiliate. It's all the cable channels. And something else really important I need to point out is not only is this absent of sports, there's kind of an unadvertised thing going on here. It's absent of news sources. You do not get CNN, Fox, or MSNBC through Philo. So really, it's a service that offers only entertainment, but it doesn't have any news or any sports. So that might kind of be a deal killer for some people. I, you know, jeesh. A lot of people really are, they're really addicted to their news personalities and things like that. I'm going to show you the search. The search is actually pretty nice. The search looks almost exactly like the standard Roku search. I'll show you what I mean in a second. And uh, I, I think it actually works pretty good. For instance, you see that I searched for Batman earlier. But let's say... You know, we're searching for Batman. So you just type B-A-T. It's going to pull up shows or movies that have to do with, you know, that have B-A-T in the title. So you got bat you know, Battling, Balding, and Batman Begins all on the same screen. But just like the other things, whether something is actually available or not is not obvious from the screen. So let's say you say, oh, I want to watch Batman and Robin. You're going to press OK, and there are no showings available. See right at the bottom of the screen. While other things may well be available. Let's see if BattleBots is actually available. Nope. Also, you might notice that everything is listed as a show. Like, this is Batman. This is the 1989 Batman with Michael Keaton. That's not exactly a, a TV show, but it's listed as a show. That's something you've really got to work out, but... I'm going to press OK on this, and again, you can save this, or in this option, you can play it. Apparently this is available, it must have come on at some point recently. So you can actually start that and watch it. So the search is pretty easy to use, I, do, I really do like that, but again, you can never tell what is actually available and what isn't. So, my overall thinking on this service is it's got some strengths. I think the strengths are the kind of choices you have to jump in, watch something live, start it over, and or go in and take a look at other episodes of it on demand. But I don't think that the menu is 
easy to understand. I, I think that it could be a little bit confusing to, especially new people. Like if you're just going out and you're getting your very first Roku, and you add a live TV service, and this is the one that you add, you might find it a little confounding. And especially people, you know, you get if you get this for somebody, you're trying. You know, someone wants to save money, they want to cut cable. If you get it. I think that they just might find the menu confusing. It, it it's kind of kind of reminds me of the early Hulu live menus. It's just not intuitive. What I, what I think works better is a guide or even what Sling TV does, where you can see all of the channels and the things that are on it at the time. But what we've got here is kind of an old-fashioned looking Roku channel that offers a you know, a decent amount of purely entertainment channels, but I think that the lack of news options may hamper it. If you don't care for sports, obviously, you're not going to care if it's not on there, and that's, I mean, that's the whole point of Phyla. But simply being a channel that doesn't have sports isn't enough. It's got to be usable. And I don't think that it's as usable and easy to understand as it ought to be. I hope you haven't found this video absolutely confounding. You know, I hope it hasn't been hard to follow. And, you know, you can let me know if it was hard to follow, I guess. I mean, I won't take it personally. But, you know, I'm trying to show you that there's a lot to it. But just in review, you've got a home menu. You've got a basic menu up here. You can watch live TV. You can start it over by just tapping it. When you when you tap something, you can always fast forward up to its live section and watch it where it is right now. The option to watch it from the beginning is a nice option, like I said. Your saved section is going to be built on finding titles and adding them to the saved and the search is relatively easy to use. I'll show you what I mean about the Roku search. Like you, you saw it when we were in the search for other things. So it's the same kind of blocky deal. It starts giving you titles as you go. But I don't know. I don't know about Philo. I, I don't know how long we're going to see it around. But if you want to check it out, you can. You got to go to their home page, their webpage, philo.com, to take a look. And like I said, we're going to have more information about the sign-up process in the written review. It's it can be complicated because you have to have a mobile number. One of our guys, Chris, set this up, and he had to create a Google phone. You know, the Google phone number in order to get it cuz you know he's in you he didn't have a cell phone at the time it, it just it, it it could get it can get confusing to say the least so that's that that's philo decent looking service some cool options that i think maybe even some other competitors might want to think of adding but overall i i don't know i, I don't know i, I hate to say it because I like the idea, but it might be a little too hard to use right now. But that's it. I hope you found that helpful. I really do, and not too confusing. And if you did find it helpful, please subscribe, share this video with your friends. I'm Ryan Downey, the Streaming Advisor. Stream on, my friends.